tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the show. Uh, hello, Ziggy. Thanks for having me. I hope you made it to the studio without any issues. No carjackings or drive-bys along the way. <laughs> no, no. Uh, fortunately, the streets of Night City are getting safer every day. We've seen recorded homicides drop from 7,103 a year ago to just... Uh, hold on, hold on. The streets are safe, you say, but what about the highways? <laughs> suggests coronary implant failure. The remainder of Mayor Ryan's term is in the Beep, beep, motherfucker! Johnny, see what happened? Something feels off here. You don't say. I don't mean the wreck. I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur ups and drives away from the scene of an accident.
long time since you called. It's been a long since time. I passed away. I wanted to call you before, Mama Wells, but... When you find... The moment comes you know how it is. We must set our other important things on the right opposite. Right. You did me quite well. What's the matter? You and that friend of yours. Until then. I just wanted to know how, you know, you're holding up. No good, be. Parents should not bury their own children. Mm, I can't even do this. Mira, don't worry. I take care of myself. I suppose you still do what you what you did before. Just promise me you won't get yourself killed, okay? May he watch over you, Mio. CPD, open up! Barry! We know you're in there! We're here to help! Don't got no fucking war! Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues. Nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while! We're worried! Got another dry, sun-filled week coming your way, night. right upstairs. So keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. And Dad, hold on. It's his neighbor. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? More or less. I struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. 
We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Patrol. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be touchy. Let's see what I can do. Hey, Barry! Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. I'll try again later. Sit. Let's watch the first step together. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. This is about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it will be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful.
Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Hmm. <sighs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think... They'll trust the word of a merc. I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people, in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, uh, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. To that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. The last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. 
Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Yorinobu Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Helma, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead, or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. 
way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogel danced any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Sorry, really gotta go. Back to our chat. Heard there's a new soul in Haywood. I'm Sebastian Rivera. They call me Padre. V, nice to meet you. I like people who understand the value of respect. We'll be in touch, V. What? Oh, you're gonna go data crash on your ass! You hear me? He'll run you out of biz! Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Zerk Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Del. Hello, sir, or madam. How can I be of service? Hey, hey. What's got into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident oh, report numbers? Numbers. I saw they find you. Who? Uh, 77 11 Thank you. Incident report on file. Confirmed. 96 at the end. It's a public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mr. Hans Jonas, what phrase would best describe your experience of incident number 77111101096? Actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. V, 
Levine. My apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah! Special treatment. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? Sure, let's talk. Then please, follow the drone. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. Alas, the shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly. Control rooms are for Ganics. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human-operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. All these lights, what are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. See what I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person.
let's talk. I'm not going back, Kiri! Never! Try to take me and I'll crush you! Let's see who crushes who! Thank you. A share of your fee is in your account. 